The question number 31 is our body cools from 80 to 50 in 6 minutes. The time it takes to cool from 60 to 40. The temperature of surrounding is given. So dear student, we'll go by Newton's law of cooling. So that is equal to the temperature difference divided by the time is equal to constant the T average minus the temperature of the surrounding. The first case it is 80 to 50. So 80 minus 50 divided by the corresponding time is given 6 minute k the constant and t average 80 plus 50 by 2 65 minus surrounding which is given equal to 20 so this is equal to 45 k is equal to 30 by 6 now in the second case from 60 to 40 so 60 minus 40 you want to find out time is equal to k and average of 60 and 40 is 50 minus 20. So this is equal to 30 K. So we will better like to divide the equation. So when you divide the equation then 5 divided by 20 by T is equal to 45 by 30. And 45 by 30 is equal to 3 by 2. So 5t is equal to 20 into 3 by 2. So which is equal to 30. So t is equal to 6 A minute will be the time. And the option first is 6 minute. Now see the question number 32 is that consider the PV graph for an ideal gas shown in the figure out of the following graph which represent the PT graph for the corresponding changes. Now you have been given the relation that P is equal to constant divided by V power 2. Also you know that PV is equal to NRT. And you want the relation between T and P. So we will eliminate V from here. V is equal to NRT by P. And fill up in equation 1. So P is equal to K divided by V square. That is equal to N square R square t square and p square so t square on this side and p on this side so p is proportional to t square or t square is proportional to p or t is proportional to root of p so this graph becomes parabola but y proportional to root of x is the graph on this like this one so therefore, therefore the correct graph to this is graph 3. Now the question number 33 is an insulated container containing monatomic gas of molar mass m is moving with a velocity v0. If the cylinder is suddenly stopped then the, the change in temperature. So we have to be careful in this case but somehow he says that this the cylinder which is moving and uh, and when you suddenly stop this one so what was the kinetic energy loss and that has gone to the entire energy of the cylinder itself the kinetic energy is equal to 1 by 2 the mass of the gas into the velocity of the cylinder center mass velocity and that is equal to internal energy which is equal to n cv into the temperature change the gas is monatomic and for the monatomic gas c for gas is equal to 3 by 2 r 3 by 2 r into delta t and this is 1 by 2 the molar mass of the gas number of mole of the gas into v naught square so n cancel within and half cancel out therefore delta t is equal to m v naught square divided by 3r the rise in temperature so the option number four is this one the question number 34 is a body of mass 0.1 kg is attached to one end of massless spring suspended vertically from a fixed point the mass is held in position of natural length of the spring suddenly the mass is released and the lower position attained by the mass is five centimeter the frequency of oscillation of the mass with respect to initial position now this was the spring this was under natural length and it was suddenly released from here then it goes to this position and let's say it is x down here velocity is zero then there is 
the gravitational potential energy loss and that should be equal to energy stored in the spring half of a into x square then your x is equal to 2 mg by k now this x is given to you 5 centimeter from here you can find m by k so m by k is equal to x upon 2g x was 5 centimeter and g is equal to given to be let's take 10 so this is equal to 1 by 400 now the frequency of oscillation independent of the amplitude of oscillation is equal to 1.2 pi into k by m root so this is 1.2 pi and k by m is from here that is equal to 400 root so frequency this become 20 divided by 2 pi hertz and that is equal to 10 upon pi and 10 upon pi means 10 divided by 3.14 so this become 3.2 the hertz so answer to this question is the first option the question number 35 says a tuning four gives four beats with an open organ pipe at 16 degrees centigrade it again gives four beats per second when the temperature increases to 51 degrees centigrade the frequency of the tuning fork now dear student what is happening this is the tuning fork with certain frequency say n and you have this is the open tube with the length of l so it's vibrating with this one and gives four beats at 16 degrees centigrade when the velocity of sound was v and what is the frequency produced by this is equal to v divided by 2 into l and the second case he says that this the tuning fork when it vibrated with the same the tube but frequency changes reason the sound velocity increases the temperature goes to 51 degrees centigrade so in that case this would be equal to v prime divided by 2 l this is at 51 degree centigrade and this is at 16 degree centigrade so I write the difference the difference for the first this is higher so n minus the frequency v by 2l and that is equal to 4 whereas in the second case this is leading than this so that means v prime divided by 2l minus n is equal to 4 so these two equation you have to remember so if I write the first equation, what you become that V by 2L is equal to N minus 4. And the second equation is V by 2L, V prime by 2L is equal to N plus 4. So let's divide these equations. So when you divide the equation, then V prime by V is equal to N plus 4 over N minus 4. Now you know that the sound velocity is proportional to root of square of temperature. In the first case, the temperature T1 was equal to 273 plus 16, that is equal to 289, whereas in the second case, the temperature was 273 plus 51, so that is equal to 324 dK Kelvin. Now, fill out the values because this is proportional to temperature, therefore, I write that the temperature that is 324 divided by 289 the root and that is equal to n plus 4 divided by n minus 4 so it is 18 by 17 so 18 by 17 is equal to n plus 4 divided by n minus 4 so cross multiply and solve you get the value of n equal to 1 n equal to 140 so if n is equal to 140 the answer to this question is 2. Mm -hmm.